Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be exploring a lot of the Altus Plateau. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen and I did absolutely nothing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to our map. We're going to put a few markers down. Our first marker is going to be right about here. Our second marker is going to be here. Our third marker is going to be about right here. Our fourth marker is going to be over here. And then lastly, we want to go all the way down to Liernia here. Not Liernia, Limgrave. I'm sorry. We're going to be going down to Limgrave. Too many L names in this game. But we're going to take on a uh, invader. We're actually going to invade somebody. We're not getting invaded. We're going to invade somebody. So now that... All those markers are set. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to hop on Torrent. We're going to face the northwest. We're just going to run down this road. Get ourselves a silver scarab here. Maybe. There we go. We're going to run into our first perfumers. Be really careful. That perfumer hood is a random drop, by the way. This guy can be a little tough. It's an omen killer. For killing him, we're actually going to get his armor set. Come over here. Take out some of these flowers so they're not a nuisance. Grab some budding cave moss. Right over here, we're going to get ourselves a golden ruin five. Pick up some perfume bottles. Or a perfume bottle, even though it shows three on there. And then our first perfumer's cookbook. I'm going to come to the top here. Take out a big Miranda flower. Pick up some more perfume bottles. And then right here, where you see these wood planks, we're going to hit it and go down this staircase. We're going to get a talisman that's going to boost our perfuming stat. So if you're like using perfumes, it'll boost anything that you're using with it. Pretty useful for anybody that's going on that build or trying that type of build out. I'm going to come down here. Grab some of the stuff I missed here. We're just going to come right down here. This is going to lead us down to a catacomb. It's just a little bit off with that marker. Let's 
go ahead and open up these doors. Light this grace. If you need to sit at it, go ahead and sit at it. I'm not going to bother. Take out that misbegotten. This one right here. Activate this summoning pool. Then we have one of the bigger ones. Sweet. We got their axe. And then right here, there's going to be one that ambushes us. You can easily dodge him. As long as you know he's there, that is. And then at the back, we're going to have a dog. And then another big dude. run down this way we have another misbegotten and then if we come down here we can actually see where the boss door is we can't open that up just yet so we're gonna turn around and we're gonna come right over here and we're gonna fall off into the cesspool of dead bodies Get the winged misbegotten ashes. Not all of these guys are dead. Okay, it was that guy. I knew it was one of them over here. We're going to pull this lever so we can open up the boss door. And then we're going to crouch. Because we have one of those ill omen guys. Ooh, the camera was really jaggy there. Get the prattling pate apologies. And then a rune arc, which I'm still overflowing with. But I don't want to sell them and then get even more runes, so I'm just going to keep them for now on. Unless I'm trying to power level again. Let's go ahead and drink a flask. And then we're going to use our wondrous flask of physic. Go in here, we're going to be fighting two bosses at the same time. This one is really not hard. Nice! Look at the Mimic tier. Good job, bud. Good job. So if we're killing that boss, we get the Perfumer Trisha. I'm just gonna come over here and grab some Root Resin. You can never have enough of that stuff. Right here, we're gonna fast travel to the Unsightly Catacombs Grace. We're going to turn around, get out of these catacombs, hop on torrent. And we're going to just follow the blue marker.
We're gonna come down into the sage's cave. Activate the summoning pool. And then we're gonna have a ton of illusory walls in here. So be prepared. Knock him straight off. And right here we have another illusory wall. Grab some lost ashes of war. Rejuvenating bolluses. And then right here, we have another illusory wall. Oh, I thought I could have backed away enough. Guess not. Get some silver pickled foul foots. Black hood. I actually really like that black hood too. Like I like the one that we're using, but the black hood looks pretty cool too. We're going to run and jump up here. You want to hurry up and kill these guys because we're going to have a really big dude coming at us pretty quickly. Get rid of him and then right over here we have this guy staring at a wall. Which is an illusory wall. with a stone sword key. Come over here, straight to our left. Open up a treasure chest for some golden gray arrows. Get the raptor talons. Pretty cool weapon, very unique. Some dragon wound grease. We'll be using that later on into the walkthrough to kill some dragons. And we're going to be fighting a ton of them. It'll make things a whole lot easier. So there's two ways to go. We can go that way or we can go this way. We're going to go this way first. There's two bosses in this area. One boss is invisible. Which we're going to use our um, summon to help us with that one. You get the raptors set as well along with the skeletal mask. So right here, this is the easier boss. Shouldn't be too hard. Not even going to put anything on. I'm just going to... Kill him just like that. You can also take out the snail too. So for killing that boss, we get the family heads. That's a flail weapon with literal heads on it. Pretty cool. We're going to turn right back around. And now, we're going to come down this way. And do be careful for this jump. I meant to say something about it, but when you're coming through here, it is so easy to forget that there's a hole there and fall straight down to your death. Does not make for a fun experience. I promise you. And then right here, we're going to be fighting a black knife. But she is invisible. Now we could have a torch to be able to see her. But I find this boss is so easy. You just use your summon. Your summon can see where the black knife is no matter what. And you kind of can too. When she's walking in the water. You can see her. And then when you hit her. You can see her. And yes these enemies are female. 
So for killing the black knife, we get the concealing veil. If you put that talisman on when you crouch, you'll conceal yourself to enemies. I'm pretty sure it works for invaders as well. You'll be invisible to invaders as well. All right, now that that's all done, let's go ahead and fast travel down to Limgrave, not Lyernia, like I said earlier. We're going to go to the Warmaster Shack. I'll see everybody over there. Let's hop on Torrent, and we're going to run straight over there. There's going to be some wolves in our way, but I wouldn't worry about them. They're not that big of a deal. Let's see if we can Scarlet Rod them. Can. Sweet. Old Knight Estevan can be annoying because he has that move right there where it like pulls you in. Oh, you have no more flask left? Oh, poor you, bud. Get a Ruin Arc and a For Calling Finger Remedy. So for killing him, we will get ourselves the scaled armor. Pretty cool looking armor. Now that we have him killed, we're going to go over to the Volcano Manor and turn in that quest. Okay, so every time we kill somebody, we invade them, we have to turn it into Tanith. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Now we're going to come over here to the drawing room. We're going to talk to a couple of NPCs. First one is going to be Raya or Raya. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, Fi, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. So she's giving us a little hint to there's a little more to this manor than what we see. So you've blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Banal, a recusant just like you. Recusants have particular battle arts, styled to our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to your repertoire? So, for those of you that remember, we did already meet Bernal, and we met him at the War Master's Shack. We already bought a bunch of skills from him. And matter of fact, I bought all his skills earlier. But now he has two new skills we're going to buy. One of them is the Ash of War Eruption. Very meh, in my opinion. And then the Ash of War Assassin's Gambit. Let's go ahead and talk to him one more time. 
You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own. The recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. Yes, indeed, Bernal. We're going to pick up a new quest. And then before we exit out of here and fast travel back over to um, the Altus Plateau, we're going to come up here. We're going to get invaded. Go ahead and drink our wondrous flask of physic. So anybody that's played Bloodborne before and they have the Old Hunters DLC, you are going to recognize this weapon. It's pretty much the Whirly Gig Saw. So for killing Giza's, we're going to get his weapon, which is Giza's Will. Wheel? Sounded like I said Will. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, we get a smithing stone six and then we can go to the map and we can see that there is another request and we'll be getting that a little later for now. We're just going to leave that alone. We're actually going to be fast traveling over to the Altus plateau. But before we do, I want to put a marker here, a marker here. And then I want to put a marker right over here. And then lastly, we'll put a marker right there. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the Altus Plateau. Man, this place is so gorgeous. We're going to be fighting a few demi human over here. Nothing crazy. They're pretty easy. It's just a lot of them usually. Where are you going, bud? I knew there was one behind me. Get some string. Come over here, get a golden rune three. And then pull our bow out. And because this silver scarab is glowing, like it's got a white glow to it, you know it's going to disappear. You want to shoot it with some kind of projectile, whether it's an arrow, a throwing knife, whatever. We get the Ash of War Shield Crash. Can be paired very well with the Palisade Shield. I'm going to come down here. We're going to be fighting a very easy boss. Not even going to put anything on. I'm just going to run up to her and just start smacking her. Super easy. Shouldn't struggle with that boss at all. Get ourselves the Ritual Sword Talisman. And then we're going to turn around and go right back up the stairs. And now that the Demi-Human Queen is dead, the majority of the Demi-Humans over here will be cowering. So you won't even have to worry about them. Right over here, there is an item. We can fall down to it. Scoop it up. Just some lightning proof dried liver. 
Nothing too crazy. Oh my goodness. You guys need to just stop it. I'm gonna head northeast. And then come right down here where the grace is by the uh, Erd Tree Grazing Hill. Grace. Scoop up a golden seed here. And then we see all this encampment. We actually want to go over to the northeast where I put this marker. And we're going to want to come up this left side. You don't want to go in that encampment towards the front or else you're just going to have a mess of ballista bolts being shot at you. I find this way to be way easier to handle this whole encampment. Oh, you're not dead? Jeez, you had like no health, bud. We're going to come up and over here. We're going to have a mad pumpkin head. It's up to you if you want to fight it or not. I'm going to fight it just because it will make our life a little easier getting some items and not having to deal with it. Grab fan of daggers. And then come down here. We have a couple of enemies to kill. Just over here. Which, again, you don't have to kill all these guys. It's not imperative. I just do it so that I'm not being chased by a bunch of dudes while trying to loot. And here's the guys that would have been shooting ballista bolts at us. Then we can come over here to the first carriage. We're going to open up a chest in the back. Get ourselves the Troll's Golden Sword. Get some Lightning Grease. And then the Great Shield Talisman. Now we're going to head south, follow this path, and we're going to go to an Ever Jail. This Ever Jail, we're going to be fighting a boss that is essentially, um, what's his name? Something the Grafted, Godfrey the Grafted. But I think his name is Godfrey. Go ahead and use the stone sword key. And then we'll go into the ever jail. Drink a crimson flask, drink a regular flask, and then buff our weapon. We want to make sure that we buff that. And then as soon as we can hit this guy, we want to get a charged R2 on him. go easy peasy lemon squeezy 
So if we're killing him, we get Godfrey's icon. And it was Godric, not God uh, Free that I was talking about. There's too many Freeze, Froys. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with them all. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Grace, the Erd Tree Gazing Hill, and we're going to end the video. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean so much to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.